Now let's move on to some soul lifting hymns from the choir and orchestra of the Apostolic Faith Church as they held their Easter concert. Enjoy this one. Music, no doubt, is an integral part of worship, and for over 50 years, the Apostolic Faith Church has used this medium to tell the story of Easter. This year was no exception. The choir and orchestra of the church took the congregation on a hymnal journey during their concert. A soul-lifting orchestral performance from the choir featured different songs from great composers. Former interim head of state, Chief Ernest Shunakon, was one of the special guests at this event. The songs give a feeling of nourishment and spiritual upliftment after the solemn period of Lent. The essence of this concert is to call the attention of people to the sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross of Calvary, to get them access to forgiveness of their sins and prepare them uh, for a functional living, void of corrupt mind, void of conscience, uh, darkened, but to bring light into their consciences and into their life so that the operation of their life will be one that will bring the glory of, of God, show the glory of God, and be blessings to their fellow men and to themselves. From 
a humble beginning of eight members performing in the first concert in 1952, the choir and orchestra have grown to a combined strength of over 5,000 across West and Central Africa. Members use their hearts, hands and voices to worship God during services and special performances. For those who were opportuned to attend this year's edition, it was worth every moment. I'm praying to God that He should heal us of our ailments and trying to call Him to look after us and continue to protect us from all dangers in this life. I'm being reminded every day of the truth that I've known about Jesus. And um, at every opportunity I have, I like to, to remind of myself of the same truth again and again. So I mean, coming to the presence of Christ, um, singing about Him, being with fellow damn believers, remind me that it's risen and it's for us. Spent in the presence of the Lord as they look forward to next year's event.